power in the reverse. Someone feels powerless, or they feel like they've lost their power, or they have lost their power. Um, Virgo could be significant, it doesn't have to be, but it could be. So someone may have felt like they had control over a situation or a person. They could have felt like maybe they had control over you. So congratulations if you did a cord cutting or a turn to cinder. Somebody wanted to treat you like a pet, come around, pat you on the head. <sighs> Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. So this person treated you like a pet. They didn't really love you. They didn't even treat you as good as a pet or as well as a pet. It's the kind of person that would like just put you in a cage and just leave you there like all day and night. Maybe make sure you had a little something to eat or drink every now and then. Which is really sad. That reminds me of that dream I had of the pet shop. <laughs> So there was an imbalance because somebody didn't want you to receive a gift or somebody wanted to take a gift and they lost their power or authority to do something to create an imbalance here. So something has to be balanced back out. This person could have withheld their wand, okay? So say this is a masculine figure. Um, they thought they held some sort of power. They could have been using, you know, some dick magic or whatever. Um, they thought they could have controlled you or had control over you using their male parts. There was a tower moment for this magician because something was just an illusion. It was not love, it was lust. So something could have been, um, you know, more on just the, the sexual side of things. Where there was a lack of commitment, this person may not have wanted to commit to you. You know, this person's definitely a karmic, They're, or you're their karma, okay, with the lover's card here. Maybe you were meant to teach them a lesson, sometimes that happens, sometimes people are meant to be other people's karma. <clears throat> you are meant to teach lessons and move on. Yeah, this person was a coward. They're tempted by the low-hanging fruit. They're easily tempted. And you're moving on the chariot here. You're just moving on. So you moved on with, from this person because you are you know what you deserve. You know your worth. You know you deserve better. Yeah, this is laid to rest. There's a tower moment this person brought on with their illusions and their bullcrap because you saw through this. Which I think is ironic because I feel like the illusion is... is that they thought they had power. They deceived themselves by thinking they withheld some sort of power because they never had it to begin with, especially over you. Yeah. They didn't give you the offer that you'd been waiting for. And they could have affected your financial stability when you were with them on top of things, you know? You grew up, you're focused on your money, taking care of yourself, you've matured, you've gone through a transformation, you could have recently gone through an ascension. Somebody wants to date you though, so hopefully it's not the same person. Oh shit, okay, well the challenge is, is you healed from a heartbreak and you walked away or they walked away from you. So they could have walked away from you and you had to heal from this heartbreak. Because, like I said, they treated you like a pet. They didn't cherish you. They didn't love you. Um, they maybe threw you a bone now and then. But, I mean, maybe it wasn't that good of a, of a bone to begin with, to be completely honest. I, I'm just kidding that they overestimated their um, power of sexuality. Okay. Uh, so there is an emperor here, king of cups, a challenge when I split the deck. So it could be somebody new coming in. So they could, the challenge for this karmic is that um, there's competition, but there is no competition because you're not interested in that person. You're, you've already healed from whatever this karmic has put you through. You've already learned your lessons. That's why you went through an ascension and you have money coming towards you. So it looks like you may be having someone that wants to come in and date you with the Knight of Cups, maybe make you a little offer, see where it goes. You have money coming towards you. So. 
maybe things have been stuck or stagnant for a while. Things are starting to pick back up again. The cycle is over. Someone could be addicted or obsessed or has some sort of addiction or obsession you're just not willing to deal with. There was a group of people that, you know, didn't support you. This could be a group of people within the community. This could have been a group of people that were attacking you. Uh, yeah, the cycle is over for a King of Wands, this Mr. Player. Yeah, because you're in your Queen of Swords energy, so the challenge is, is this person's a player, and you're in your Queen of Swords energy, so, you know, your cutoff game is really strong, you're thinking logical, you may have told the truth about how this person did you, so, this person, it's like, next, they screwed up their chance, so next, um, up is possibly the King of Cups. Yeah, okay, so there's a group of people here that could have been working together to take some sort of gift or talent from you, or, or stall you, troll you, stop you from using your gifts or talents. This could be something to do with work. Uh, maybe you were really good at something, very gifted at something. A decision has been made. So you could have made a decision or a decision has been made by somebody who wants to come towards you. Yeah, the King of Wands chose a gold digger. So the Queen of Pentacles, that's their challenge, is they chose a gold digger. They chose someone else over you. They walked away from a divine femme. made their bed now they can lie in it yeah someone was not an official person here they were the hierophant in the reverse they were a false person they were not gifted they could have been jealous of your gifts you have options this person was upset that they're not gifted like you are with the nine of pentacles they didn't want you to grow your money your pentacles and then we have the empress here the divine femme so divine femme you have options Yeah, because you've grown. Someone can't come towards you because you've already grown, you've ascended. So you don't buy their bullshit. If if you were gullible before or they, you know, hurt you once before, you're not the kind of person that's just going to let someone keep hurting you over and over again. That's not, no, that's just not you. Especially if you've gone through an ascension. They were trying to communicate with you, so they could have sent you a message, tried to communicate with you, you may have them block, change your number, you don't want anything to do with this person, because they created an injustice for you. And you have a king of cups here that's trying to manifest you, and they want you, and this person's emotionally balanced, and they're loving and caring. So, and also, to be fair, um, this King of Cups could be your manifestation. You could be manifesting each other with the Magician here. Um, there's, there's some manifestations going on here. You're on the right side of things. Yeah, this person who created an injustice can't come towards you because they're going to continue causing you injustices because they don't want to heal, they don't want to do the shadow work, they don't want to grow up, they don't want to ascend, they may not even believe in ascension. They believe in, you know, sleeping around and, you know, hooking up with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this karmic is in despair with the secrets that they were hiding, that they were keeping hidden, possibly because you knew what they were, you, you could have seen through them. Maybe they're in despair because they didn't tell you the truth. Yeah, because they thought you were blind to the truth. They were ignorant. They're in despair because they thought you didn't see them for who they are, and... <laughs> I, I I know we, we live in a world of offense where everybody gets offended by everything, but I feel like it is offensive. The energy is offensive that this person underestimated you and your intelligence, and they thought they could just pull one over on you, and they're the ones in despair as if they're the victim. Please get real. They could be in despair because they chose the Queen of Pentacles, and they ended up getting screwed over. Funny how that works out, isn't it? So someone is admiring you here with Page of Cups. Someone is admiring you, and they want to come towards you with this offer, which would be the King of Cups energy I'm picking up on. Uh, this karmic energy, this hierophant in the reverse that keeps coming out is like the King of Wands when I split the deck. Um, they don't have a victory. This is a no for them. And someone's pissed off. So someone's pissed off about this offer coming towards you because they lied. 
okay? They, they haven't been communicating with you. They didn't communicate. There could have been bad communication. They didn't come towards you when they had the chance. They could have had plenty of time to come in and fix their fuck up. They chose not to. And you're not waiting. I don't know how long you may have waited. Maybe you didn't wait at all. Because when you say goodbye, you mean what you say, Queen of Swords. You're not mixing your words. You you closed out that cycle. So there's no communication going on because the cycle's over. Even if they've been trying to communicate with you, your spirit team is blocking something. If you haven't, they are. Because this is not your divine counterpart, that's for sure. Yeah, because you're loving and caring. And um, this King of Cups could be your divine counterpart here. And justice is going to be balanced out for you. This is the challenge for that person who's all pissed off and in their feelings that you close out a cycle with. That is their challenge. As you're moving on with your happiness. They created an emotional situation. Financial balance is being restored. You are a natural born leader. I'm for sure embodying... You know, you can embody any of the feminines, and your emperor can embody any of the masculines. So. Yeah, someone was a thief here. This, this person was a thief. They could have stolen something from you. Time, money, energy, resources, whatever it was. They stole time you can't get back. They could have stolen your career or what they thought was your career. They could have tried to stop your money. They could have tried to literally steal your money. They could have tried to steal your life. You've been fighting a lot of conflict and they just left you out on your own to fend for yourself. You're at a crossroads. You have a decision to make and you are, um, oh, uh, what is that song? Cumbersome? That song, Cumbersome? Okay. You're not interested in this person anymore, and they're in despair. You're not blind. You have a decision to make. You're protected. You have ancestral protection. And once again, someone is in despair here. There's a stalemate because they they there's no way this person can win. And they can't win with you because you know they're a thief. You know what they did. You saw through their illusion. And you have somebody else who's manifesting you, or whatever it is that you're manifesting. You're manifesting your divine counterpart. There's a death, rebirth, transformation coming. This person placed themselves under judgment. That's their challenge. There's a rebirth, transformation. So this person is in despair because they brought themselves under judgment. And you have this offer that's coming towards you, Nine of Cups. Can't stop me now. And once again, death rebirth. This offer that's coming towards you is going to bring major transformation, big changes. Um, the person that wants to come towards you could have recently gone through an ascension. So you or your divine counterpart or both of you could have recently gone through an ascension. You leveled up. I'm getting the image of Mario getting that mushroom and he's growing he got bigger, and then he went and got the fireball, and if you want to get really slick, um, you could have recently gone through an ascension where you got your little raccoon tail from, you know, Mario 3. You're whacking shit out of your way, clearing a path. You can bust through bricks now, biatch. You're in a new cycle, so you're busting through those walls, those obstacles, whatever was standing in your path, you've single-handedly had to fight off a lot of people, a lot of battles. They weren't there to help you. You're going to be celebrating. You have money coming towards you. So you have money and love coming towards you. This person lost a treasure. Seven of Cups here. They lost a real one. Or they, And they could have tried to steal a treasure. So if you had some money or had something coming or something that they viewed as valuable, you know, they not only didn't get whatever they were trying to steal, they lost a treasure which would be you because of the betrayal that they caused with the Five of Swords here. So they lost a treasure because of a betrayal. They should have kept it in their pants and been faithful and loyal and treated you like, you know, a person, like someone that they loved instead of a pet. But they thought you'd just be loyal forever. Just sit there waiting on their dumbass to get their shit together. And they're not going to. Yeah, someone's scared. 
someone like is could be leaning on somebody for support trying to get their footing you were in a relationship with this person they were not your ten of cups they were not your happiness somebody sees you as their wish fulfillment though they were keeping secrets possibly that they were involved in a threesome um they were hiding something with the moon they were working together with multiple people you've gone through your ascension queen of swords here and you've gone from empress to high priestess so i mean you truly leveled up divine fam you truly did yeah this is over certificate of death unsuccessful relationship this person could be getting ready to pass away or this there's no way this relationship is going to be able to be revived because you've already moved on and i think the reality of this is sending in and hitting them they were not expecting this i'm hearing you moved on so soon but this could have been months or years like somebody really just thought, thought you would just be sitting there waiting for them whenever they decided to come back like it was like they had you locked up in a kennel, you know, like, isolated away from everyone, and they would just get back to you, you know, when time allowed. It's like they wanted you to be loyal to them, but they were not loyal to you at all. is among the most menacing of sounds that's why they call it murder and not mur muck deck someone could have tried to unalive another person <laughs> so um yeah that could be like that hitman energy or it could just be like somebody was hired to come in and do something i know everything about film i've seen over 240 of them so someone thought they had you figured out enough to know your weaknesses and they could have tried to unalive you here. Which is another reason you cannot trust them because you know what they did. They think that you don't know. That's that's the insulting thing. Like, that's the offensive thing. Like, I'm just getting this, like, really? You think I didn't know kind of thing? Like, how did you think that they didn't know? Just because they didn't call you out on your bullshit? You thought that the Divine Femme didn't know you tried to... They were a pompous ass. They thought they had it all figured out. Somebody was just waiting on the word, waiting on a phone call, waiting on confirmation, or waiting for the signal to do go. But yeah, here you are. You could be a card reader. Um, cards could be significant. Um, you could you, you see what's coming. You see what's going on. Someone could have thought that they had an ace up their sleeve, or that they, they thought they had the winning hand here. Um, it turns out you had the winning hand the whole time. Whenever I'm about to do something, I think, would an idiot do that? And if they would, I would not do that thing. This person was an idiot. They thought you were an idiot. They thought you were an easy target to, to unalive you, steal your shit. They didn't want to be with you. They worked with the Queen of Pentacles, or they chose the Queen of Pentacles over you. I don't know if, if this person continued to try to unalive you after... They walked away from you. They could have tried to come back and finish the job and they weren't able to because you won't even let them past your front door. I don't even think this person can make it to your driveway at this point. I heard release the hounds. If this person shows up at your house... I feel like it's not going to end up well. Not at all. Because I've picked up on this energy before. It doesn't end well for them. Yeah, they left you out in the wilderness. They left you out. They could, You could have been homeless. You could have not had anywhere to go. 
you were fighting a lot of conflict battles by yourself. Somebody got left out in the cold here. You for sure, where you left them out in the cold, out in the wilderness. And they didn't think that you would ever find your way out. They thought that you would just stay out there, like what, in a tent or something? Yeah, they had people working with them to keep you trapped, stuck, waiting, you know, so when they got back around to dealing with you, you'd be there. Possibly to just finish you off. I mean, it might not even be that they want to come towards you to be in a relationship with you. They could be in despair that they didn't get to take you out, and maybe they were paid to do this. Um, somebody could be wanting to know why you're still alive, because this person could have been sent to do something to you, cause you harm, and instead this person lost their access to you, and they're, they're about to lose this access for good if they haven't already. Because you have a treasure, you're getting a treasure, you are a treasure. You are one, you're getting one, you have one. If someone sees you as a treasure, someone wants to partner up with you, that came out sideways, so somebody wants to partner up with you while this joker is playing games, being stupid, trying to unalive you. You have somebody that wants to be with you, and I feel like this person would be loving and caring and protective. I feel like this person who didn't value you, you can't sit still for five minutes. This person, that person likes to travel, be on the road a lot. Different hoes and different area codes. For real. Someone's a liar. They act like they want to take care of you, but they they tried to put you in bad health. They're not trying to nurse you. This person's a liar. This person thinks they're better than you. I used to be perfect. Now I'm even better. Yeah, this person was a joker. You're like Susie Homemaker. And this, this you're perfect. You're wifey material, husband material. This person couldn't be trusted, and they still can't be trusted because they're easily tempted. Their jaw drops at the first skank that walks by. No, no joke. They can't be trusted around anyone, possibly even other men. If this is a masculine, men or women, this person just... And they're lazy. I can, but I won't. They're unmotivated. They're lazy. But if a skank walks by, or, you know, lusty busty walks by, then... They're motivated for about five seconds. Yeah, this person's not motivated. They thought that they could come back. It's like they thought that, you know, they could just come back like, hey, baby. Um, but things could get physical if they try to come back to you. Um... They may have threatened you with physical violence. They could have been physically abusive. Or you might slap a bitch if they show back up. And they may know this. Because you know. And I just, I can't for the life of me figure out how this person doesn't know that you know what they did to you. Because you do. You had a vision, you had a dream, you had something. He who hesitates is hungry. So someone hesitated to do something. So somebody did have an opportunity to do something at one time. They had, whoever this person is, they had the perfect opportunity to take you out, to unalive you. And they didn't. They might have been having fun with you. Maybe they were lusting after you. Maybe you have that wah big package energy. Um... So it's like they wanted to play with you. They treated you like a pet. They wanted to keep you for a little while. You know what I mean? Like, this is... <gasps> oh, my God. Seriously. Like, I I'm getting the energy of, I'm going to keep you. I want to keep you. But it's like as a pet. Not as a significant other. But like as a toy. And they want to use you whenever they want. But... 
if they can't have you, they don't want you alive. If they don't get to play with you, if they don't get to play with the pet here, um, they, you know, what is their motivation for keeping you alive is what I'm getting. So I, I don't know if they're going to have the opportunity to get close enough to you. This person may be a professional, um, psychopath, whatever, you know, um, without getting myself in trouble, a professional unaliver. Yeah, you could be a mother figure here. There were, you could have went to the cops for help, good cops, good law officials, but it's in the reverse, but they didn't help you. And someone's out for revenge. Maybe because you said something or spoke out and they want you to shut up. They could still be scared that something could happen to them. It's like they won't admit that they're scared, but if you know their secret... You know, I'm telling you, they're pissed off because you got that WAP energy or big package energy and you're denying them. They're out for revenge against you because you're not giving them... You're not letting them pet the kitty. I mean, I don't, you're not letting them pet the kitty. Oh, man. They're pissed about this, by the way. They fantasize about you. They have dreams about you. They're being controlled by spirits. That lustful sex demon. Mm. They were keeping secrets. I need to clean out my closet secrets. This person is multitasking, though. And that's what makes you angry. Is because you know that they can't be monogamous. Um, they really, truly do have some sort of sex addiction. And they're being controlled by spirits. This is like incubus succubus kind of shit. This person could have fucked around with demons and found out. Uh, someone doesn't know they're being watched and sex addiction. So this person with the sex addiction could be watching you or this person with the sex addiction could be being watched. It's because they're guilty of doing something, of sabotaging you. Pay attention to your dreams. This person said something was a misunderstanding. <clears throat> Someone is getting released from jail. So you released yourself from this person. You set yourself free. Even if they walked away from you when they tried to come back, if they already did at one time, you told them to hit the bricks, whatever. Um, they've been stalking you ever since. They're trying to wear you down. They don't think you're strong. Um, with be strong in the reverse, they're weak when it comes to you. That's the thing. That's why they didn't take you out when they were supposed to. They like you as a pet, okay? Like, I'm, I'm not going to say they're in love with you or that they love you, because they don't. But they have this, um... God, it's like an obsession with your body parts, um, certain body parts. You won't be surprised. This person's a false prophet, false teacher. So they pretend to be something that they're not. Whether they're religious, whatever religion they claim, they're false. They're not real. They're not authentic. That's because this person's a dark witch or a warlock. They were hired. This could be the practitioner that was hired to do something to you. They're going broke and they need money. Someone knows the truth. Once again, law upholding judges in the reverse. There's corruption, man. Someone's being immature. These law upholding judges or who was supposed to be law upholding judges could have made bad judgment calls based on bias and opinion instead of facts. I, I don't want to say necessarily corrupt, but they could have been swayed. Because somebody was immature, and they could have presented evidence to this person as if you were guilty of something, even if you weren't. Maybe you didn't know you were supposed to be there. Someone could have gotten a protection order against you. Someone's coworker is involved in this, and your instincts are on point. You you could have tried to distance yourself from this person because you know that they're lying about you. 
they lied about you or you lied about someone so someone lied here you distanced yourself because you know that they're lying and you know that they were out talking shit about you <clears throat> they tried to make you look bad so no one would believe you and everyone would think you're crazy when you said someone's trying to kill you they tried to make you look mentally unstable Same shit, different day, right? Collective. <laughs> like, really. Is there gonna be a day when someone's not trying to unalive somebody? I don't know. Anything else that's going to come out before it close this out? Someone's definitely a loose cannon. They were all talking no action. Oh, this person was as white as a sheet when they realized that their actions are not going to have an effect on you. Because this person's the kind of um, person that would like promise you something and then not follow through on it. So you don't trust them because you know that they don't keep their word. This is the calm before the storm. Time was of the essence to do something. And they didn't get it done. The next 24 hours is going to be very significant because someone's going to have to throw in the towel. And something is happening in the nick of time, quick as lightning, and someone is scared shitless. If they were hitting the panic button before, they're really about to start. If they were not hitting the panic button before, they're really about to start. Because someone has seen the light about something significant that happened in July with someone who was wet behind the ears, which could be that gold digging ass queen of pentacles. So... Um, if this was your coworker or their coworker that they slept with, the Queen of Pentacles, they could have been, you know, they didn't look before they left. They they did something impulsively here, and um, someone is immature, and it could be the person that they chose over you, and they could have pissed them off, and someone could have started running their mouth. Okay, so I hope this helps. Let's get some water. Um, July could be significant here. M could be significant. Yeah, so if something didn't happen in the past July, this coming July, someone's going to see the light. Someone's going to find out that you were not lying. Especially if they experienced the same thing. C, M, C. That's crazy. Those are my initials. Holy shit. <laughs> R. Those, that's like my first, middle, and last initial. Damn, yo. You? Yeah. Wow. I, you and I. O, I owe you. Wow. Somebody owes someone something. Yeah. Someone had to make something up to someone. Someone owes someone a lot. Someone's being watched. Two eyes. Someone's definitely being watched. Whether it's you or them. Three eyes. There could be up to three people being watched. H. Someone wants to pull up and say hi. How you doing? Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> B. Oh, my God. Someone definitely, definitely wants to whisper in your ear. Oh, why? Bye. Hi, bye. Yeah. Hi, bye. It's not going to last. All right. Last letter. A. Damn you. Um, M-R-C-I-O-U-I-I-H. So we'll just say hi, bye, and A. I hope this helps. Have a good night.